Today's lesson is on surface area, and we're specifically focusing on pyramids, cones, and spheres. Okay, so I have a foldable at the end. So today we're going to talk about the right half. So we have a sphere, and a half of a sphere is called a hemisphere. I'm going to talk about pyramids. I have an example of a rectangular pyramid and a triangular pyramid, and then a cone. All right, so let's start out with, I'm going to use the same strategy that we talked about yesterday for prisms. And cylinders, let's start out by naming our 3D shape. So this one is a pyramid. I'm being asked to find the lat lateral area and the surface area. So I'm going to shade, name, and redraw the base. Here's my base. Here's my apex or vertex. So my base is six by six and it is a square okay so a square is a special form of a rectangle so the formula for a rectangular pyramid is one half p times l and l is on the outside here, it'd be the hypotenuse of a right triangle, and it is called the slant height. Okay, H is the perpendicular height, and the distance from the center of the polygon to the outside is given. So I'm making a right triangle, and I need to know that the slant height is the hypotenuse, and the perpendicular height H is one of the legs. Okay, and total surface area is one half P times L plus B. Okay, so my lateral area is one half P times L. And my total surface area is one half P times L plus B. So I am solving for the perimeter and I'm solving for B, the area of the base. So my perimeter is going to be six times four, which is 24. And the area of the base is going to be 6 times 6, which is 36. All right, we're going to start substituting in. So 1 half, the perimeter is 24. And my slant height is on the outside. So 15 is my slant height. So 1 half times 24 times 15 my lateral area is 180 feet squared. Okay, my surface area. I, you know, this is repeating my lateral area here, so I'm going to just put that in. It's so my lateral area, and B is. 36, so my total surface area is 180 plus 36, which is 215, I'm sorry, 216 square feet, or feet squared. I can say it either way. Okay, let's try another one. Again, I want to find the lateral area and the total surface area of this figure. So I'm going to name it first, and I know I have a pyramid. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So six sides is a hexagon. So 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six sides. Uh, each side is 10 inches. And my apothem is five times the square root of three here. Okay, it's asking me to find the lateral area and the total surface area. So I am going to look. So all of my polygons or all my pyramids have the same formulas, one half P times L and one half P times L plus B. Okay. So the formula, so my lateral area is one half P times L and my total surface surface area is one half P times L plus B. So I am solving for perimeter and area of the base. So perimeter is each side is 10. So this is each is 10. So the perimeter is 10 times 6. So my perimeter is 60. And area of the base, this is a regular polygon. So this is from the previous unit. So my area is going to be 1 half my apothem times my perimeter. I just calculated the perimeter here, so this is one half. My apothem is five times the square root of three, and the perimeter is 60. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply a half times five times 60, so I get 150 times the square root of three. Okay, I'm going to start substituting in. I have 1 half, 60. 16 is on the outside here, so this is my slant height. Okay, so 1 half times 60 times 16 is my lateral area. is 480 inches squared. Okay, substituting in my surface area. So my lateral area is here. So this is 480 plus 150 times the square root of 3 inches squared. So this is my exact answer. And rounding to one decimal place is 739.8 inches squared. So that's my rounded answer. So exact and rounded. Okay, so all pyramids have the same formulas. Right, let's move down to a cone here. So this shape here is a cone. So the base of a cone is a circle. I'm interested in the radius, so my radius is 8. Oops, so it's a circle. So let's go get the formula for lateral area and the total surface area for a cone. So a cone has a different formula, pi r times l, and total surface area, <coughs> pi r l plus pi r squared. Okay, yeah. so lateral area equals pi r l and surface area is pi r l plus pi r squared. I don't have a perimeter for a circle and the area of the base is kind of built into the formula so I don't have to find those separately. So pi, my radius is 8, 
And 15 is h because it is perpendicular. So I need to calculate my slant height here on the outside, which is the hypotenuse. So that's going to be the square root of 8 squared plus 15 squared, taking the square root, which is 17. So this is a Pythagorean triple, 8, 15, 17. This is one that's used quite a bit. Okay, so my lateral height is 17. So my lateral area, my exact answer is um, 8 times 17, which is 136 pi inches squared. And rounding one decimal place is 427.3 inches squared. Okay, to find my total surface area, this is 136 pi inches squared plus pi times 8 squared. So 136 pi plus 8 squared is 64 pi. This is 200 pi. So my surface area is 200 pi inches squared and rounded. This is 628.3 inches squared. Okay, let's talk about a sphere. All right, so I find the total surface area for a sphere. And the sphere's diameter is 76 centimeters. So I'm going to draw my sphere here. So usually we just draw a circle and then I draw an oval in here. So the diameter is 76 centimeters. So the radius is half of the diameter. So 76 divided by two is 38 centimeters. So I do not have a base for a sphere. And let's go look at the formulas. I only have a total surface area. There is no lateral area, so you won't be asked for that. For a whole sphere is 4 pi r squared. For a half a sphere called a hemisphere is 3 pi r squared. Okay, so we have a whole sphere, so 4 pi r squared is what I'm going to be using. So I'm just signing the total surface area. So my surface area is 4 pi r squared. So 4 pi, my radius is 38 centimeters squared. So I'm going to multiply out 4 times 38 squared. So my surface area is 5776 pi centimeters squared and rounded is 18,000. 145.8 centimeters squared. Okay, one more example. Find the total surface area of a sphere with a great circle that has an area of 49 pi miles squared. Okay, so uh, the great circle on the sphere is this circle right here. And it's saying this has an area of 49, 49 pi. So area 
of a circle is pi r squared. So I can calculate the radius given the area. So I'm going to divide both sides by pi. So pi divided by pi is 1. So I get 49 is r squared. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So I get 7 is the radius. Okay, find the total surface area. So we said this is a sphere. I do not have a base for a sphere, and I'm just finding the total surface area. So surface area is 4 pi r squared. So this is going to be 4 pi 7 squared. So my exact answer, 4 times 7 squared is 196 pi miles squared and rounded 615.8 miles squared. There we go. That's it.